So as we're as we're collecting that information and we're we're pulling those things back in ways that physicians and clinicians can interact with them in meaningful ways, what then starts to be the role of the algorithm? So we've seen some companies come out with FDA approved algorithms. What is what does that look like and what does that hold for us in the future, especially in this kind of open M health world? So um, algorithms play a role from the beginning, but they start out playing a role of clinicians already look for feature X. So a rheumatologist asks their patient standard clinical question, how long is it before you're get able to get up and out in the morning? Because there's morning stiffness, which is a measure of the level of flare in an RA patient. Or manual dexterity in a, for the Parkinson's tapping test. If you look at one of the best research kit examples, it's Empower, and they converted the, this tapping test into your touchscreen tapping test, right? So you start with a known clinical measure. You don't have to start from scratch and discover new things. Right. You start with a known clinical measure. You create an algorithm that takes the bits generated by sensors and things and converts it into a proxy measure for that. That's where yeah. the algorithms start. Just look at how we've experienced search or even advertising over the past decade. Yep. Started out clunky, but you start to learn from it. You build in a lot of analytics and instrumentation, and the things get smarter over time.